Hello everyone! In today's Hero Spotlight, we'll introduce a new mage, Annette. With her powerful passive, she can heal teammates while providing enough control on the enemies. You'll always love to have her by your side. Passive Whisperwind When a hero near Annette uses an ability, she gains a stack of Seal of the Wind, up to 15 stacks. At 15 stacks, when a net or a nearby ally falls below 70% HP, the seals will be consumed to restore HP to all nearby allies. This can only be triggered once every 5 seconds. Be careful, the enemies, teammates and a net herself can provide stack of Seal of the Wind when using abilities. First ability, Gust Force. Annette summons a Whirlwind at the target location, dealing magic damage every 0.25 seconds for 2 seconds. The damage increases by 33% for every 2 hits. Enemies trapped in the center of the Whirlwind take additional magic damage equal to 2% of their max HP, and their movement speed is reduced by 50% for 0.25 seconds. Therefore, we should keep the enemies close to the center of the whirlwind, slow them down, and ruin their team. Second ability, Wind Cuffs. Fires a wind orb that deals magic damage and reduces enemy movement speed. The orb keeps traveling, and upon striking a second target, creates a chain that pulls both targets in and deals an additional magic damage. The targets are also stunned for one second. Passive? The cooldown of this ability is instantly reset when Annette is stunned. She also gains physical and magic resistance and a shield for 2 seconds, 45 second cooldown. Try to strike 2 or more enemies. The monsters can also be pulled with the enemies. Both of them will be stunned as well. Ultimate Hurricane Wall Annette dashes towards the target location and summons a hurricane. Nearby enemy heroes are knocked back and take magic damage. The hurricane also creates a barrier for 3.5 seconds. Allies within the barrier gain movement speed and attack speed. Enemy heroes cannot enter the barrier. This ability also instantly removes all control effects on Annette. The ultimate can knock back enemies therefore protecting teammates and Annette herself. It can also enable Annette to pass through walls to escape, but remember, it can be interrupted. Combo Use the second ability to control the enemies, then use the first one to slow them down. Now you can use the ultimate to knock the enemies out to the spot where your teammates can help you finishing the fight. Here are some tips you may want to know. 1. Be aware that no movement skill can dash into Annette's ultimate, including Yibaneth's first ability Flicker or Maloc's ultimate. 2. When facing the enemies in lane, use the second ability to bind the minions and enemies together. 3. During the group fight, remember to use your ultimate to protect your marksman or another mage. The other teammates can also gain increase on their movement speed and attack speed. 4. The most important thing? Don't use the ultimate at the wrong time or in the wrong place. Be extra careful and observe the battlefield more deeply. If you play support, learn the second ability prior to the first one. It's because you can take advantage of the cooldown reducing effect of the second ability. If you play carry, Focus on the first ability more to guarantee more damage. Thanks for watching today's Hero Spotlight on Annette. See you on the battlefield.